Good, 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 good to see you. Good, good to see you, you too. As always. No goggles today, eh? No. <laughs> yeah, I got mine on as usual. I like but that. yeah, thank you. Um, look, talk, talk to me about women's boxing first of all. Um, you've revolutionised things in your creative industry, and now you're shifting the paradigm in women's boxing. It's quite remarkable, really, isn't it? I mean, it is. But I, again, it's like this is the spotlight they deserved and so I just have the spotlight I just so happen to have the spotlight so it's like I'm just shining the light on all the hard work that they've done and now we're seeing a ton of progress and this is a massive step but it's a step also for the naysayers in boxing saying that Jake Paul's playing around with boxing and you're clearly not not at all and I've said that since day one I'm a man of my word and I mean what I say and I think the world we live in people I don't believe a lot of people because people just say stuff all the time, but that's not me. You know, I back I back my actions up. I've done it in the ring, and I'm doing it outside of the ring because I'm good for the sport, and all I've ever wanted to do since the beginning was bring more eyeballs to the sport. The other thing you guys all missed out on the top table today was you're bringing the two best female fighters in the world together in their prime. Literally. That's the key, isn't Literally. it? That's yes. the key. Yes, it's the, it's the number one pound for pound against the number two pound for pound. And they're setting a precedent for all of boxing and, and how you know these fighters should step up and make these fights happen at the right time, regardless of what their promoter says. Because I think a lot of these fighters are scared to risk it all. A final thing, because you've got millions of uh, duties today. There are dinosaurs in the sport in some ways, and you're a very young man. Boxing's been the same way for so many years, for decades. Social media, social media guys, people who are mainstream in social media like yourself, I suppose you are now the mainstream. I guess so. I guess so, you know, and, and I guess you'd be a better judge of that, but... But you feel like you have a responsibility, don't you? For sure, for sure. And we're, we're sort of, this new generation that I'm a part of is now setting the precedent of what's to come for boxing and, you know, is boxing going to win again or is it going to, you know, sort of fail again like it has before. So uh, I feel the responsibility and I hope my peers do as well. And a final one on your career. Um, I know there's obviously talk of Tommy Fury. It's a brilliant matchup. It, again, it's a big, big fight if it happens. There's also KSI who wants to fight you, who's again is a massive fighter. Would you think you'll fight both of those guys in the next year or two? I don't think any one of them wants to fight me, <laughs> to be honest, you know. They, they say that they do, but then when uh, it comes to the rubber meeting the road, they're not down. So I'm here. I'll fight them whenever, wherever, but they don't want to fight. I, 